Hello and welcome to The Sherlock Show. I'm Louise Rowe and we have a really fab show for you today. Possibly the most famous hairdresser in the whole world, the Kardashian stylist Chris Appleton, shares his hair care secrets and tips. Plus, Nana hits the red carpet to check out what everyone was wearing at the LCK Europe Gala. But first, let me introduce our wonderful guests. I'm joined today by consultant dermatologist and founder of Junebird, Dr. Alexis Granite, beauty journalist and Vogue contributing editor, Twiggy Jallo, plus lawyer and fashion contributor, Angela Lay. Welcome everyone. We, I think we've you. got almost too much to talk about. We were just oh chatting. Yeah, yeah, we, have, we almost said everything that we need to say I know. here. I know. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. it's generating so much to more chat. ideas. Um, okay, it's that time of year where you're just like, come on spring. Come on spring, you can see a bit of a bud forming and some days the sun comes out. How do you work that transitional wardrobe? Because it can be quite freezing still in the morning and oh, by yeah. four o'clock, I was boiling yesterday. Yeah, I think the secret is always layers. I, I moved from here from New York and I learned when you get to London, you, you just have to have layers, you gotta be able to strip them off. Layers, definitely. Right now, I was gonna wear this dress as it's, you know, on its own, because I love my arms out, I love being semi-naked. <laughs> but I had to throw this on top because I need some sort of coverage and yeah. it's freezing cold still. Yeah. yeah, it is. Yeah. 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 I would so. say for spring, you know, obviously layers, layers, but for me, I'm loving, you know, a little bit of a boxy fit, a little bit of a relaxed cut, but to add a little bit of warmth, you know, just to bring everybody onto that spring season, love a pop of color at the mm. moment. Red, can you tell, is yeah. my color at the moment. <laughs> so there is uh, this pair of patent leather uh, block heel flats, Mary Jane from Zara, triple straps, so chic, love, and also ballet palms from uh, Loeffler Randall. Yes. Oh my God, the mesh, but well, I kind of like love the pastel color, so spring, and also, also loving a bit of chunky accessories moment. Okay. So there is this belt from, yeah, right girl, you get it right, yeah. <laughs> So this bell from Sonia Petrov is very giving, is giving 70s Chanel vibes. And also loving chunky jewelries, always a mixture of gold and silver. Oh, Me too. Yeah. Oh yeah. my God, it's so wow. Like, I love those <laughs> nice. like that. So these are from May, uh, Heaven Mayhem, but also I think YSO are amazing. I have a lot of work to do. I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't have any of this. I, I feel very out of the loop. That. I need to study. Um, I'll just I need to take like some You will really love it. You will love everything. Seriously, those are my like kind of secrets, but now you know. Back to those shoes. Are they yeah. red or are we wearing them with a red sock? I think I love that. That. the <laughs> red, the red, the shoe from Zara is bright red. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, so the patent. Pat yeah. Okay. And Amazing. what are we thinking about tights? How much longer do we have? Because I'm, I'm actually not, I'm wearing not a massive some, tight. But I, don't, I don't know. I, I don't know I, when I don't it's know. unacceptable I, to stop wearing. I, a colleague of mine, and like an old colleague of mine, she wore, and she never wears bright pops of color. She wore just a plain back outfit, wore red tights underneath. They look so good, but I would have never thought yeah. that red tights would look good. And red is not my color at all. Yeah, it but she made me want to try it out. So maybe these shoes, I might start yeah, diving I like into the pop of red. red on the sock, but the right color red is sort yeah. of a yeah. dark, almost yeah. clay red. Mm, yeah. um, my pieces, I mean, this is a classic, but the trench this time of year, mm. and it is actually practical. Yeah. I just found a floor length because I'm always looking for floor length coats. So I feel like they're not as easy to find. And I, I sized up from a brand called Summery Copenhagen. Do you Ooh, know them? Wow. And it's like a two-tone trench, very into that. And then I also just got, and this is a lightweight jacket for spring, it's a um, cognac leather duster coat. Wow, so it's not too heavy. Is it? I know, maybe yeah, it sounds yeah, like yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. a bit of cognac. <laughs> <laughs> cognac, cognac. Duster, yeah. <laughs> But it's, it's a little bit Del Boy leather and it looks yeah. a bit like old, your old but armchair. It's long. Yeah. That one, no, it's oh. more like car. Okay. Yeah, but I am into that. She yeah. just looks so much better. It's like I have, not Konya, yeah. but I do have <laughs> I do have a leather trench and it makes everything look good, but because it cuts off so early, it looks inexpensive. <laughs> I think, I, yeah, I think it just gives it a sort of elegance it when does. it almost brushes the floor. And oversized. Yeah, I think yeah. It, makes it just adds yeah. a little bit of drama. Such good tips. I could be here all day. Okay, the man behind some of the world's most iconic heads of hair, from JLo to Katy Perry to Kim Kardashian, Chris Appleton, popped into the office last week to talk all things hairdressing, career success, and Super Bowl do's and don'ts. I mean, you don't need much introduction, do you? That have introduced Give me one before, anyway. But I mean, there's a. I've got a fancy spiel here. Do you want yes. the full spiel? Let's go. A lot of you will know exactly who I'm sat with. 
I'm joined by the Chris Appleton, hair stylist to the Kardashians, Jennifer Lopez, and Dua Lipa, to name a few. Aww. You're an ambassador to Colour Wow, creative director. It says here you have over 3 million followers on Instagram and is hugely loved on TikTok. I How does that help you? 4 million followers on four. <gasps> Instagram. Wow. You guys. Oh my God, you took a million off. I'm so sorry. That's four a bad followers. introduction. He's got 5 million followers yeah, like and he's 25, 25 years yeah. old. That's nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Chris. I was just asking you about life in LA before yep. we started. And I mean, what, what took you from, from the UK out to LA? Um, so the whole journey has been really long. You know, from the age of 13, I've been working since then until now. I think it just sort of transitioned that LA was the next thing because I think I'd achieved a lot of my goals in the UK. Um, and I got a call from JLo's team. I think, you know, it was a time of social media and I guess she must have recognized me on social media. And it's interesting because I was like, how does someone like Jennifer Lopez know who I am? It's this boy from Leicester, you know, like, and I, I kind of thought, well, maybe I can do it. You know, maybe I could go to LA and do like people's hair like that. But I just thought like it's now or never. I think I was turning 31 or something. I was kind of like, I, I gotta do this if mm. I'm gonna do it. So I actually just packed two full suitcases. I took everything I could take, I left a whole apartment and uh, just left for America. And I really had a visa because I was in that country. And um, for the first three months I didn't do anything. I didn't work, I, I, okay. I didn't, you know, you, you don't just walk into something. No. And then I got a job with Christina Aguilera on The Voice and he kind of just, somersaulted from that. Once I was on The Voice, I guess her hair was changed. I did the lavender hair with the hoops mm -hmm. in it. And stuff. you know, and people were recognizing mm -hmm. and, oh, this guy from London's in town, you know, and so I just started working with different people. Mm -hmm. And it just was kind of like a snowball effect. It, hence, I mean, how many years have I been in LA now? Like seven years. And then here I am. And you know, that's kind of the journey it's mm -hmm. been. But I guess it's, 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 it's not as though I feel successful or any different to the way I did when I was, you know, working in a salon. I think it's, you get to be, make people look and feel good, and now I just get to do it with a different caliber, I guess, of, of a client that mm. people see and have an opinion on, mm. and you know, then there's the other side of that. Let's talk about hair yeah. for a minute. What's the secret to good hair for you? Um, I think it's all about the condition of the hair. I think, you know, your hair's only ever gonna look as good as the condition, and I think sometimes we, you know, can do a lot to our hair, and t trends now are so, evolving and changing uh, because we live in a world of social media and the flick of a finger, we see something different. So I think we push our hair a lot more. So I think really like maintaining the condition of your hair is really important. So what do you advise for good hair care? How do you look after your hair? I mean, obviously I'm a big fan of the Colorwell well products. That's why we work together. It's funny, I was just doing um, this big influencer yesterday. I posted a TikTok and like we put a wig on and I sprayed her hair so much with so much hairspray to get it really flat. She has, mm. a, she has a full head of extensions in the boss. So I was like, spray, hairspray, hairspray, hairspray. I was using the cool favorite from Color Wow and I was really laying it down and she's like, oh, there mm. goes my hair. Like, it's I, say, gonna I, be... I saw it and it looked like it was black because there was so, when so she much was well, you had to get yeah. it really flat. Yeah, 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 sure. And then literally once we did it, she had no, like, she had to get off and she needed mm. her hair to look like her hair again. And I literally just, you know, took it out, took the braids out and then just brushed it all and out. And she's it. like, oh, and then I blowed it. She's like, oh my God, what did you yeah. do? She said, my hair was better than when I came <laughs> in. What did you do? Mm. She's like, I, I thought you put all that hairspray in. I thought it was just going to be like, I'd have to wash Solid, it. Solid, yeah. She said, but that's the great thing about like, court, like court favorite or the, you know, the color of our hairspray is the fact that I can put loads on and get great hold, but mm. I can also brush it out and the hair's not ruined after. Whereas, you know, some hairsprays you put it in and you've yeah, got no yeah, chance. Your hair's yeah. like a rock, mm -hmm. you know? So I, I love that they do what they say they're going to do, but they're also respecting the condition of the hair mm. and enable you to, you know, kind of play with it and evolve it. Mm. And the hair would actually look better after because it had like great hold oh, and yeah. substance to it, so. Can I ask you about that insane product? I don't know what it's called, mm. but on TikTok, where his hair, it, it doesn't frizz. Like if-, if Dream coat. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I saw it because you did a TikTok about it yeah. and then there's some influencer. It's water resistant. Yeah. yeah, what the hell? It's like magic. If you Dream haven't seen coat. the TikTok, what yeah. the hell? It's incredible, that Yeah, Dreamcoat's amazing because it basically has waterproof technology. So it's the first kind of thing out there that not only like an amazing finish to mm. the hair, you have to blow dry it in and it's heat activated and it like locks into the hair and gives it this real mm -hmm. sort of looks finish, but it actually then makes the hair water resistant. Mm. So, you know, any rain outside or humidity in hot mm. weathers, basically all of that will affect your hair and, you know, take the style out sure. of it. Whereas it actually kind of, you can see the water beading up and sitting on the hand, like you can actually shake it it's off. Mad. So yeah, I mean that like te technology like that is mm. insane, you know, it's great and it's been game changer. Like for example, when I did Jello's hair for the Super Bowl, Miami's crazy mm. humidity, you know, without that, I don't know what they've done. It has mm. naturally curled, you know what I mean? So mm. that, it really helps me to be able to create what I create, but then it lasts as well. What do you think other than condition of our hair and the way we look after it, what do you think is the biggest hair mistake that so many women make? Maybe just over 
overdo it. I mean, we're all guilty of it. Like, my hair's dark right now, but I'm usually blonde. And, you know, just pushing your hair as far as you can go. Mm. And, like, I think sometimes we forget we only have one head of hair. So mm. just trying to really maintain it and have, like, a long-term plan for mm. it. What's your biggest hair regret? I've done everything. Mm. Like black and white stripes, <laughs> and like blue and pink and... Probably maybe one of the one of them is when I bleached my hair and I didn't used to have a root. And if I did like pictures or stuff, I think when you first bleach your hair, it's one of the most dramatic things you can do if you have it on the scalp, it's very loud. Mm -hmm. in, in photographs, HD cameras are not made for hair mm -hmm. and makeup, they're made for sports mm -hmm. because you can see, you don't want to see everything like yeah. that. It's so true. sometimes it can look see-through, you know, yeah, like you're yeah, bold. Yeah. So I learned like, oh, the blonde looks good, but when I have a root, like you get to know you what works with That's you. really yeah, interesting. Totally. It just yeah. kind of frames your face. Yeah. Just on, on our own personal hair, what, what tool do you swear by? What do you think everyone should have in their kit? Um, I love the Shark a Flex Styler. It's one of my favorites just because I'll use it as a hair dryer and then a and flip it into a styler and use different accessories on it. Um, and there's no heat damage, which I love. What's the secret to a perfect blow dry? Uh, good hands. <laughs> Don't do it yourself. It's the number one thing that people still say. Yeah. It's the hardest thing to create. People yeah. have mastered the middle part, snatch bun and the wet look and all this. Yeah. But unfortunately, the blow dry is still a little bit of work. Yeah. Because you have to do it. You know, there's not, there's not like a huge shortcut to it. You yeah, have yeah, to blow yeah. dry. It's you know, so to true. get that bounce, mm -hmm. you got to blow it through, make sure it's fully dry, yeah. clip it. It's commitment. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, worth, it's worth the commitment. Mm. But I think people want that, like, I'm just going to towel dry it and it will just air dry yeah, that. You know, it doesn't do that. Yeah. You've got to blow it. Yeah, yeah. Leave it to the pros. Let's talk about celebrity hairstyles. The one you were talking about, Peroxide, before, the one thing that, or the hairstyle of yours that I always think about is when you did Kim's hair for the Met mm -hmm. and that took, like, how many hours to dye at Peroxide? Oh, I don't know. A lot. A lot. Like a lot of hours. Before, yeah, how, how, do you, how does one maintain hair you know turning the heat now and making sure we're not overly heating it she's great at conditioning treating mm. treatment in it and you know putting masks on she knows the commitments if you're going to yeah. be blonde and you're going to do that you know it's like you know you're going to sit there mm. and you're going to have to you know it's not a five minute job yeah. but i think it's really just about you know planning and making sure that you have that person that knows what's on the hair mm. and not you know pushing it too far then by doing loads of heat styling etc what other celebrity looks have been some of your favorites I don't know, you tell me. I think I get asked that all the time, but I don't know. What do I mean, like? J-Lo at the Super Bowl, that, yeah, I mean, that's, that's that. pretty fucking iconic, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. it was great. It how was do fun. you, how does the creative process, because obviously, you know, there's a lot of hairography in that mm. performance. Like, how involved are you in the kind of creative, like, you know, are you told, like, right, she's going to be whipping her head a lot, so let's go with that. Like, how does no, that process I mean, work? I just watched her performance and just thought, you know, her hair needs to be down, needs to be a lot of it, needs to move with her mm. and flip around. She wanted to do, like, a side part Hollywood thing, and I was mm. like, yeah, I don't know if that's going to work throughout the whole thing. Mm -hmm. It's just kind of more about like I was to me I was like that was the most flattering and universally beautiful thing for the whole performance yeah. and it just kind of worked and like together. Jaded, but everyone right? loved it. Yeah. yeah, I know it was still something people stop me about now. What's still on the on the to do list? What what's still on the bucket list for me? Yeah. Oh my god, I'm only just started. Cool. Just wait. There's loads of stuff coming out. I'm really excited. I see some really good stuff coming up. Um, so many different things I want to do. I, I think it's really important to evolve. I, I think, you know, the day you get bored or whatever is, I think when the magic stops happening. Mm. So I think you know it's always good to creatively push yourself. Any exciting products coming up? Yeah. Loads. Have you? I believe there's one under your seat. Oh, you know about that. I, I heard there was one under your seat. That's as far as I've got. Have you tried my money mask? No. Oh, it's amazing. Why don't you try it? I, well, oh give my me God, some. You must have it. I will I, say it's one of the. Yes. It's one of those products that, you know, I put my name on it and I was like, oh my God, I hope people really mm. love this. I love it. But, you know, when you're being part of the process, you hope people are going to love it. And genuinely, it was just never been, dis I don't think I've ever met anyone that's been disappointed in it. Why? Like, What's so all university that? loved yeah. it. Because most hair masks are very heavy on the hair. They weigh the hair down. It's like a 20 minute thing. Mm. They make the hair length. It's this special formula. And the way it penetrates in the hair is instantly. So there's no messing around, leaving it on for mm. ages. But it kind of gives it this very rich, luxurious feel. But the hair still has body and bounce and shines. It's just mm. a great great product to university mm -hmm. that people love. So we extended the family and now we, this is the money mist, basically it goes on the hair after you've shampooed it, before you blow dry, but it literally just softens the hair. If anyone has any tangles as well, it instantly takes it out, mm -hmm. gives the hair a great shine, strengthens it actually on the inside mm -hmm. um, out. So the hair is actually stronger when you use it. Cool packaging. Yeah, it's really, really nice. Great. I love it, you okay. can have that one, Th that's for you. Excellent, thank you so much. I'll put it in an awkward place behind my channel. What are you most proud of? My kids. It's nice. Yeah, I love them so yeah. much. I was just looking at pictures of them. I miss them. You know, I, I guess I'm proud as well as a dad that I got to give them the opportunity to, you know, being in a small town in Northern England, it took me a while to figure my way out. And 
you know what else is out there mm. so it was great as a dad to even come and see yeah. what's going on and i thought well, maybe they'll go home but they just never they did love they, they love it's it the american dream is that sunshine yeah I don't blame them. and i think also just like you know you, i think they say that you know the, one of the best things you can do as a parent you know when your kids get older is to sort of get them to leave the town they're in mm. and spread their wings mm. a little bit and test life out you know and see what they think to it yeah good place to end Chris, thank you so much. Oh my God, thank what you so much. Go and give the product one more plug. We're being told wow. it'll be everywhere soon, but Colour Wow. It's beautiful. Hair. On a seriously, try it. It's great on blondes as well. I will let you know. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me. Thank it's been so lovely much. to meet you. Thanks. I've heard so much about the sheer looks and you guys do a great job. So thanks, thanks for having me. I'm really proud to be here. Thank, thank you. you. Wow, I need to try that dream coat. And what about Color Wow? I feel like that's everywhere at the moment. Yeah, everyone's yeah. using yeah. it. Yeah. I believe they have three of the dream coat. I believe there's three. I used one because sometimes I have super straight hair. Oh. Sprayed it on before I straightened it and it was absolutely amazing. Like oh, wow. less yeah. humidity, doesn't frizz as much, just kept it poker straight. So yeah, I'm, I am a fan. I do need to like try out a few of the other products in the range. I, I feel think like I update my makeup and my skincare a lot more than I will update my hair products yeah are you guys yeah. the same or is yeah. that just me yeah i sort of find my old faithfuls and i don't deviate yeah. so much yeah. yeah i have to force myself to try new things but a lot yeah. of the time i get so much being a beauty journalist i get so many products so i need to go outside of my remit sometimes like today i use a completely different hair um well it's really good hair brand but I, they extended their range so i had to try it out and yeah it, yeah well hopefully it works <laughs> Well, and that's the same you can change seasonally too. So yeah, you yeah, can use a true. kind of thicker product for um, summer when things might be a bit frizzier and then a sort of softer product in the winter when it tends to be flatter and more big time. Mm -hmm. um, it feels like this week there have been a lot of salacious celebrity gossipy stories. Have you got any favourites? Oh God, I have this <laughs> yes, hilarious one. Oh my God, I read this probably yesterday where the, there's this male in, um, male, this guy, in Kenya, and his name is Elon Musk Jr. I don't know whether he give himself that name or whether he's just like born with that name, but yeah. he claims to be, as you will guess it, the son of Elon Musk. He said Elon went to Kenya in the 90s and, you know, had a romantic history with his mother, who was a hotel manager. So he said Elon has reached out to him via lawyers and saying, you got to come to the US and we're going to do a DNA test. So he started a GoFundMe page. So Elon reached out to him. Supposedly. Wow. Um, oh. But, <laughs> what? But, really, but the really funny thing is his photo. Oh my God. This guy is a split image of Elon Musk, but just a different race. It's how many just, How many children are we up to now for Elon? Yeah. Well, I think 12. Is it? He's really good. 12. Yeah. Yeah. yeah he's so got he's, three or something. Maybe four women. Yeah. I thought he only had um, I, a no, son think, or a daughter. No, no, no. He has a football team. There's definitely yeah. a double digit. He's I now think probably wow. reaching yeah. his goals. I think so. he's trying to repopulate. Yeah, I think he is. Yeah. I think mean, he's trying to take all these children to the moon or something. Yeah, or like, repopulate. Yeah, his yeah, planet. <laughs> okay, I need to look into this. Oh, um, you have to. Double. It's hilarious. Okay, Literally. I need to see. Yeah. Oh, well, okay. I need right, to see ladies, what have you got? The story I can't get enough of is the Bianca Sensori Kanye West. Just the outings, the outfits, it's like what is happening? I really, I, I wish just, I was a fly on the wall, I honestly. See. Especially with Julia Fox I, and everything that happened with her. Like what is actually going on I, behind the scenes? I don't know. I feel like we need to help her. <laughs> I know, I feel like we need to help her, but I, I saw a picture of like, she was with her mom and Kanye uh, and all of this. What? And Kim Kardashian was there yeah, as well. They were so together it seems to be very point. consensual, but you can, yeah, you never it know. Seems, <laughs> it's just, there was another recent photo where it's just, I cannot understand what's going on. I mean, she looks amazing, but yeah, she, also she looks fabulous. She I also is... wonder who styled these. Um, uh, I don't I mean, know. Is it him? Are. I'm sure. I, I think it's him because didn't think he used him. to style Kim when they were Yeah, yeah. yeah I what have you got, Twiggy? <laughs> what have I got? It's kind of a follow up from that. It's, it's just the direction that social media is going in. Like, of course, we saw about skincare and young people using, um, 10 year olds using skincare. Northwest is blowing up online like within good reason with ta in regards to talent and everything like she's that she's what like, 10 like, yeah she is yeah. She's she's 10. 10 years old though Guys, she's got 18.8 million followers on tiktok oh wow i hope i got my stats right but i think that is <laughs> oh, right that's yeah. a lot like it's, that is huge it is a yeah. lot by all means she is used to the spotlight as like a young girl yeah but that's quite a lot like yeah. we've seen how it turns out for a lot of celebrities when they are thrusted into the spotlight so early, but I don't know, it could turn out right. We hope that it turns out right.
and everything. And I kind of like her music. I like that song. <laughs> yeah. Has she just done yeah. She just started. Yeah, she did the yeah, song. She just with her. I haven't yeah, heard it actually. Is it good? Yeah. It's cute. Oh, it's adorable. <laughs> it's, a, it's adorable. She and, is adorable. Yeah, I love I her. Know. Like, she has so much confidence, but at the same time, it is quite worrying, like, just her being on social media so much. I, I, well, yeah. I think there's a big movement in perhaps not such celebrity status. Um, to take kids away and off social media. Yeah. And so yeah. I guess this yeah. is kind of going the opposite direction. Complete opposite uh, direction. That is a lot of, <laughs> a lot of people, a lot of strangers, yeah. Yeah, I guess, for sure. but yeah. lots of money too. Yeah. Ooh, yes. lots, lots of money. But oh, does she need it? Yeah. yeah. I yeah. Think she can command up to 30,000 or over 30,000 USD per post now. On I'm TikTok. sure. She has great now, commercial power. Even yeah, more. Um, well, I have a sort of non, what I'd rather not talk about anymore, and that's Kate Middleton. Oh, Leave God. her alone. Look, at, at, yes. this, at this point, yeah. it's, we've just reached a point where it's just like, you know, baby girl, just as long as you're healthy and you're okay, like, especially for the kids as well, just some of the conspiracies were hilarious. Some yeah, of the conspiracies were ridiculous. Were hilarious. Yeah, yeah, that she went out to have a BBL, like, Kate did not go out and have a BBL. Like, Kate did not go and get a BBL. Yeah, I know. Oh my God. But that was funny. But um, yeah, we kind of just need to leave her alone. And I don't know, just look up to it. Just look yeah, up like, to it. Just do your own I think thing. Yeah. Look at more people, important stuff. Yeah, I think yeah. at the yeah. beginning, people were concerned. Yeah. But now it's just now all it's sorts just of taken on a life out. of yeah, its own. Exactly. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. It's nuts. I think back in the day, if there was an announcement by a news service that you respected, whether that was Reuters or the yes. Royal Family or any kind of, you know, company of that nature, you just took it and you were like, okay, thank you. And and, and even yeah. the press were much more respectful. Yeah. It's just bonkers nowadays yeah. anyway. Next up, last week, the very glamorous Like to Know It Awards took place with over 800 of the country's most stylish women taken to the red carpet. Nana, of course, was on hand to see what they were wearing. Hello, it's Nana. I'm here at the Natural History Museum at the first ever LTK Gala. I'm going to be talking to the most stylish attendees of the night. So why don't you come inside with me and check it out? But first, let's talk about my outfit. This insane oversized sequin blazer is H&M Studio. The bag is stout and the shoes are Topshop. There are so many gorgeous women here in the most incredible gowns, all waiting to walk the red carpet. I just can't wait until they get in here. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. good. I'm, I feel like I'm having a moment with oh, you right now. I love this. I love the moment we're having. Please talk me through your outfit. You look fantastic. Thank you so much. So jumpsuit is Norma Kamali. Mm -hmm. The leather belt is Norma Kamali as well. The bag is La Lingit, London. And yeah, that's it. I'm excited about seeing all the girls for the first time because I think we know each other through a screen and I think it's finally time to see each other in real. And we want to talk all things fashion. Yes. What is your favorite fashion trend at the moment that you're loving? I think it's all about the alaya-ish, mm -hmm. very fitted bodice and uh, you know like showing your curls and uh, yeah, what, uh, <laughs> what God yeah. gave you. Exactly. I love that. We are done with the monochrome era. Colors are coming back ladies. So have you seen the Tom Ford show? Yes. Okay, have yes. you seen that purple is making a major comeback? Yeah. We are very, I love colour, so yeah. I'm all about that. Yeah, I, I can't wait to see <laughs> it. Have an amazing evening. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much, much for having me, Nana. No Thank worries. You. So I'm wearing Roland Murray uh, from My Theresa. My Theresa dressed me today. Uh, shoes are by Bottega Veneta. I am wearing tights because it's freezing outside <laughs> and I did not wear a coat. <laughs> it's very cold. Um, the earrings are Bottega and the bag is YSL. When it comes to red carpet dressing, could you give us any tips? I think from a stylist point of view, I'm not straying too far from my personal style. Keeping it minimal in terms of shape, but then there is a lot of glitter. Yeah. So. Thanks, cheers. Hi, Felicity. Hi, you. You're okay? I'm good, how are you? you? Amazing. As to you. I love sequins. I know, we love a sequin. But please, can you talk me through your whole outfit and where everything's from? So, this little sequin outfit's from Phase 8. But I thought I'd be a bit cold, so I put a little jumper on underneath, which is also from Phase 8. 
ASOS earrings. Yeah. We've got Karen Millen little bag. Yeah. Choose Simply B. They're, they're, they're sort of ones that you can wear for 12 hours. Yeah, and that's what, what we need, need when you're going to a gala. Like you, hun. I can't do the heels like you. So for me, I don't usually go with the trends. I just go with what I like, which is usually like 1970s leopard print, uh, silks, greens and sparkles. Okay. Well, that leads me on to my next question. Yeah. What are the fashion rules that you live and die by? Anything I think that my nan would have loved. Yeah. That's what I'm wearing. I love that. What an adorable answer. And how are you? Yeah. You yeah. look stunning. Thank like you. actually phenomenal. The makeup, Thank everything. You. Please can you talk me through yeah. where your outfit's from? Uh, the dress is from Club L London. And then my clutch is YSL, my heels are YSL. The makeup was done by a makeup artist called uh, Monique Monroe. Fabulous. Now, talking all things fashion, yeah. who is your favourite person on the red carpet? Oh, do you know what? Currently, shout out to my girl India. She's been smashing red carpet. Maya Jama, absolutely obsessed. And men's wise, Victor, Victor Kunda, absolutely. Oh, yeah. The way he dresses on the red carpet. Chef's kiss. Chef's kiss, to die for, to die for. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I just had to go outside of the Natural History Museum to grab these girls because <laughs> it is absolute carnage, carnage out there. Yeah, I can't believe it. But both of you look insane. You look so gorgeous. Um, Daisy, talk me through your outfit. Where's everything from? So this is Kitri. Shoes are Russell and Bromley and then a little coach bag. Oh, the coach bag is so cute. It's cute. <laughs> Maya, please talk me through your outfit. I'm wearing an Abercrombie dress, mango gold heels, and my trusty mint velvet feather bag, which has honestly come to every event with me for the past like two and a half years. I take this everywhere. Really? And your earrings? Oh, oh, Susan Kaplan clip-ons. I just got them. As recommended by Florence on the SL. I, I was literally just about to say that because that was one of the questions. Yeah. We love a bit of Susan Kaplan as well. Trend-wise, what are you most looking forward to spring, summer? I'm looking forward to wearing less layers, to be honest. <laughs> but I love a matching cord. I love a chunky sandal. I'm all about like the uglier the better. So yeah, I can't wait to feel a bit comfier and a bit warmer. Felicity looks mega. Are you going to talk us through your outfit? Yes. Yeah, Felicity, come in. Hi, Hi, Felicity. How are you? Good. How are you? Thank you. Please, can you talk me through your outfit and where it's from? The dress is from Helsa by Revolve. Earrings, Amazon. Yeah. Oh, they are a great jeep, great jeep. We love that. And in terms of spring, summer fashion trends, what are you most excited to see? I re I'm really loving Sheer. Sheer on the run runway, absolutely amazing. So, yeah, excited to kind of incorporate that into my kind of minimal style so yeah what would your one fashion or style hat that you have to live and die by what would that be i always kind of look and see if i can take one item off over accessorizing doesn't really suit me so i always kind of look look in the mirror and see if i can take take one item off Oh my gosh, guys, as you can see, the party is about to kick off. It is absolutely crazy here. I've had such a great time talking to some of the most stylish ladies that have walked this red carpet. I've got to run. Okay, it's my favourite part of the show. Let's get down to business. Your favourite things. Anything. Who's going to go first? Who's going to go? I've got so many. I feel like, oh my God. So, I have this. Do thing. we need to give you a limit, Angela? Yes. Yes. Gonna, I know. Today, I'm a fountain of knowledge. So, I have this hair vest from Fleur. So, it's mango mood. But, oh my God. Changed my life. My life is just not the same without a hair mist. I love Fleur so much. <laughs> right? I love Fleur. Have you I tried the hair mist? I didn't know a hair mist. It's not so good. And also, and also, this is what I do, right? Like, that's a beautiful. I, like I spray yeah, it in love the back hair of and then I let it fall Sweet. on my hair. <laughs> I love it smells so good, guys. Perfect. They also come in a smaller bottle, so you can go on, yeah. jump into it. Oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so good. 
Oh, it smells delicious. Oh, it right. smells. I can smell it from here. But what is it amazing. for? Just for your is hair. it just treatment? But like for your hydration hair? or? Uh, I think it's just oh, for free. It's like I don't know. It's yeah, just, it just smells. It is amazing. Like, I love hair so much. How I look cool. at yes, it is. is it gisu or jisu? I think it's gisu. Is it gisu? <gasps> yeah, and love the one for this. Right, it reminds me of something else. It reminds me of something. Does it remind me of Body Shop? Body Shop, Body Shop, um, the butter, Maybe. the mango. I, I miss R. R. those old body ones. Shop. No, Has R. it gone? Has it completely gone? Administration. Another one. Yeah, I can match. No, that guy. Sorry. Another one. Along with Hunter Wellies. But yeah, yeah, the Gisu hair right. mist. Yeah. I'm getting this. Right. right. And amazing. it comes in the smaller bottle too. Of it um, <laughs> that is amazing. Okay, go on. On you go. Next yeah. One. And over the weekend, I think I watched, I binge watched Love is Blind. How can I have like missed this show all these seasons? I only discovered <laughs> it now. But most importantly, during the show, there is this girl who, gift, um, who gifted her date this uh, bracelet that looks like a little watch. And she's like, oh, whenever you tap on it, the other one will vibrate and light up. Oh, Guys, so to show the other that. person you're thinking of them. So it's, I was like, oh my God, I need to get this. And I Googled it, it's called Long Distance Relationship Bracelet. Um, so one thing I'm loving, I have to sort of shameless plug right now. Uh, <laughs> I have been working actually on a wellness brand for the past three years uh, called Junebird. It does um, take that long, really, it does. right? It's to been bring things a to labor of love, that is for sure. Um, so we have our first range, which is a body care range, which is launching uh, in a few weeks in April. So we have a body wash and a lotion, a scrub, a butter, and a firming body serum. Um, and we're all about joy and bringing kind of like the actives, yeah, that you light. Giant. Yeah, please. I love please, the please. packages. Um, the color yeah, is cool. so kind of the actives that you might associate oh. with facial care, but bringing those um, to the body. So yeah, so Ooh. stay tuned. Um, and we actually have some lovely. accessories launching as well. So bracelets and you can decorate the bottles with them. Oh, so they're lovely. lovely. Yeah. So a lot happening there. Um, oh, that's a lovely smell. What's that? <laughs> Did you use the lotion? Yes. Yeah, so it's like a caramel latte. These are all gourmand, which have that kind of like sweet oh, vanilla it. base. Yeah. Um, and then we'll do some kind of fruity Ooh, florals yeah. uh, for our next Ooh. launch that will be down the road. Okay. Um, caramel. I mean, yeah. I, that's amazing. <laughs> Um, it smells so good. You guys are so dry. Smell. Yeah, it feels so yeah. nice. I've never tried a body serum like this. So usually, yeah, very, it's got a like little a, bit too light. Yeah, like it's this. got a very like oily gel texture, so it can be unique texture. Yeah, because this grease style as a gel is actually so rich. Yeah, it goes a long way. Yeah. Right? It's incredible. Like you've done a great job. You've done a great job so far. So far. I still need to try everything else. So far. I'll, I'll make you try that after. Oh, thank you. I can't. I'm just going to with handle day. So you you're, uh, yeah, so we're launching D2C online, DTC online um, in April, so that's next month, yeah. And then uh, we're Space NK uh, in June, oh my so gosh, congratulations, that is so big. Yeah, it's kind of taken over my life, but in a good I way. Bet. Oh, wow. <laughs> well done. And then, yeah, the other thing I'm loving right now is this jeweler, um, Francesca Villa. So okay. she does, um, this is actually a whale, which uh, I bought sort of off the rack, but um, she'll do custom things too. So I'm actually going to get one made of my dogs. Oh, By the way, I have so children, cute. so I'm not getting my children. <laughs> I'm just getting my dogs. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I feel so like she'll love do their dogs more than their custom yeah, like yeah. paintings on a little um, bauble on a necklace. So Aww. it's very, it's very oh, exciting. Cute. <laughs> okay, right. What do I have? Okay, so beauty wise, I have two things. I oh my gosh, I um got this body oil last week, and I'm already like halfway through. Oh wow! It's from this brand called Up Circle. The reason why I love them is because they, up they upcycle a lot of their ingredients. So say for example, if there's a body scrub with coffee like beans in there they would usually get those coffee beans from a coffee shop, like all of the discarded products. Oh, amazing. Yeah, so they everything's upcycled and everything like that, which is great for the environment and everything. Mm. It just smells so good and it just feels good on the skin. Similar to your body, um, yeah. gel, actually, it has that thick, emulsive, just feel where it just feels like it's really, really nourishing skin. So love that one. And then again, because I like shiny skin, <laughs> I'm obsessed with moisturizing myself. So um, it has to be this one. Sorry, guys, it's yeah, so, it's so Yeah, but you so use good. it. It is yeah. battered and bruised. Yeah. I think this is actually the American version because they didn't yeah. have it. In, yeah, yeah, they didn't have it in the UK and um, I needed it. So yeah, it's the healing ointment. I use it for everything, lips, body, balm. Is it like a balm? Yeah, yeah. it's like a balm. Yeah, okay. if my skin's really dry from using retinol, I might put this on top just like, okay. like mm -hmm. in the corners of my mouth and everything. Yeah. Literally it's every, so good. you would know, it's literally amazing. What am I watching at the moment? Um, <laughs> ah, what is it called again? <laughs> <laughs> Always. Escaping Twin Flames. It's 
Escaping oh, Twin oh. Flames. Have any of you watched it? No, no I've seen I never even heard it. It. It, it, it. it will take you on a ride. The, the entire premise behind it is that these, this gentleman and this lady, um, they, one was an entrepreneur, one was very, very holistic and wanted to try new things and everything like that, very spiritual. They came together, had a relationship together, and they joined those worlds together. And their business to find love eventually turned into a cult like situation oh, wow. it is honestly insane if you had a crush for example they would say okay go for it don't give up on them you love them that is your twin flame it could be anyone but then they say don't give up on them to the point of like no even if they say no continue to go after them oh. some of the girls were getting like restraining orders put against them and they didn't stop going oh, oh wow yeah Put it on the list. My <laughs> recommendations. <laughs> so I've realised that we keep watching really intense anxiety yeah. inducing yeah. shows. And then, especially if we're watching in bed, you literally two minutes later, you're like, night. And then I'm, my dreams are insane. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. I will watch that though. Sorry. Yeah, um, yeah, but, so I am excited about the rom-com. I feel like the mm. rom-com is having a comeback. Oh, I miss them. Same. They like people try to make rubbish ones over the years. Like we haven't had the real rom-coms for about I don't know a decade at least. But the two that I think are brilliant, Glenn Powell in Anyone But You. That oh, was no, very cute. Okay. Okay. Very sweet. Well, I mean, to add shot the in Sydney and just like funny and cute. Not going to change your life, but yeah. it's going to like give you a happy evening. And then the other one that's about to come out is Nicholas Galatine and Anne Hathaway, and that one is called The Idea of You. Oh, I oh, the idea. Of you you need to be on the show. Sarah's just gone. <laughs> 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 All I can hear is, <laughs> and everyone's saying nuts about him. Um, he's sort of everywhere at the moment. So I feel like rom com. Yeah, yes. I'm into the. I want to like them, but I I like you dark and like, anxiety. No, I, I like dark and anxiety. You know, I, I, I understand <laughs> you. I love, a, I love a good ending, good happy ending, mm. and just you know, rosy bubbles everywhere. The other show that's about to start, I think, this week is Palm Royale, oh, set yeah. in Palm yeah, Beach yeah, yeah. in the 1960s. Yeah. Kristen Wiig is the lead. It's fabulous. Okay, that sounds good. <laughs> okay, that sounds good. Is that drama and dark? Yeah. Yeah. I don't think it's that dark, but it's drama. Yeah, I, I we'll see. Yeah. I, I mean, I don't know how dark Palm Beach in the 1960s is going to get. We'll be here for another hour talking TV. <laughs> but for you guys, that's it for today. Thank you so much to everyone. And Chris, of course, next week, Nana is back with more great fashion and team content. In the meantime, we would love it if you guys could comment below, give us a thumbs up and do subscribe if you haven't yet. Have an amazing day. Palm Royale. Don't miss it. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>